the Shiki Science Show clips. So speaking of interventions, is there any advice that you'd give to people now if they wanted to help improve like their health plan or their health in general? What would you advise? Yeah, I always sound like your mother when I answer this. <laughs> Yeah, there are really four things that you can do right now. I mean, if you want to try supplements, great, try them. I mean, uh, you know, the, the, we're still finalizing some validation on a lot of things, but there's a lot of potential candidates. But outside of that, it's about lifestyle. And there's really four factors. There's exercise, the, um, some combination of cardiovascular and resistance, exercise with resistance training, Healthy diet, which we could talk all day about, but you know, don't eat too many calories. That's a good start. Uh, maybe consider some of these uh, intermittent fasting strategies, uh, and then I would argue to have a balanced uh, portions of macronutrients in your diet. Um, stress. Uh, it's kind of hard to study this in animals, but I think the amount of stress you feel is a big driver of aging. And then sleep, which is not that easy to modify sometimes, but sleep quality declines with age. And I think it's important to try to mitigate that. Um, but, you know, the question is, how do you do that? And ultimately, it has to be changes you could make that are sustainable, which means that you enjoy them. You know, if I tell you to be a vegan marathon runner, you're probably not going to do it. So yeah, I think it really takes people to think about their, it's personalized. People should think about their lives, look at where they can start to make slow changes uh, that are toward health. And uh, I think if they do that, you know, it's kind of, it'll keep growing because what you'll realize is you feel better now, not just 20 years from now. And that's especially true of exercise. There's a, there's a, there's a threshold you have to get over before you really feel the benefits of it. If you don't exercise and you start running or doing something, the first two months is mostly misery. <laughs> uh, you know, but once you get over a certain threshold, then you find that it feels good to run, you know, and it actually is takes away stress to run and it gives you more energy. And so, but you have to get over those barriers. The, the same thing's true of like taking sugar out of your diet. If you talk to people that switch from Coke to Diet Coke, um, they hate the Diet Coke at the beginning and eight weeks later, they hate the Coke because it's way too sweet, you know, but it takes time. Your body doesn't transition quickly. So it's about sustainability and that's, that's the key for lifestyle. 